item to this, say item one. Well, I want this to be about graphic graphics, and that page is going to go to obviously graphics.html, and the title will be graphics. I can't see what I'm typing. Hold on, graphics. Dreamweaver, and the target will be top, and you can see it picks up there. Now, item two, what will that be? Web design, webdesign.html, Dreamweaver, web design, and the target is top. So the third one, let's say we don't want the third one. It's very simple. You just remove it. So now let's go to item two. Item two will be, let's say, photos. And the link will go to photos, of course. Dreamweaver, uh, I'm not even paying attention here screenshots. Now let's well, let's say we want to add a carry here so we can get so we simply go to add a submenu. Now we're going to add headers that these are some headers pre-made headers for people. So we'll go to headers.html Dreamweaver headers and top. Now let's add another submenu. Menus. Now we're going to type in menu.html. Menus for Dreamweaver top. That's all we want. So it, it that would show actually show the page. Now let's say if we wanted to add even more subfolders for uh, actually the word headers. So what we would do is click on headers and we'd hit another subfolder and we'd name it let's say country style country header dot html country website headers top and we'll add another one. Let's say that this one is um, emo. <laughs> Just to be, let's say emo headers.html, Dreamweaver, emo headers, and our target stop. Now let's say we go back to item three. And if you ever click out of it, just always click on the blue spry menu bar, menu bar, so that it will bring up the, uh, uh, this area again for you. Item three will be sources. Let's say we want to have sources for people to learn more about Dreamweaver. So we could say uh, Jim's place. Let Jim teaches Dreamweaver. Sorry about that. Top. And we want to get rid of four. Let's say we just want to get rid of four. My daughter's going to be home in a moment, so I'm sure she's going to open the door and you'll hear it. So let's get rid of item four. We click on item four and hit remove, and now it's gone. So let's hit file, save, and now it's going to say copy dependent files. The pages used an object or behavior that requires supporting files. The following files have been copied to your local site. This is where I said it was important, so you'd make sure you made a website folder. So just hit OK, and it's placing those files into your folder for you, which I'll show you when we get back. But we're going to go preview our website real quick. Now you can see when I roll over, I'm going to be getting these areas. And, you know, it, it kind of doesn't fit our website. The color doesn't fit. The font size just doesn't seem to fit. 
Um, and we can edit all this out. So we're going to go back. And one thing I've noticed was sources, I don't need any subfolders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that, remove it, and remove it. All the children will be deleted. Would you like to proceed? Yes. I, want, I don't want sources to have a flyout menu. I want nothing there. So, of course, I'm going to hit File, Save. So, I said I was going to show you before. <laughs> okay, let's go back to close out our CSS, open up our files, and now you'll see in your site folder we have a bunch of new files, a JavaScript, uh, a GIF image, another GIF image, and a CSS file. That has all been placed into your site folder, which is really a, a nice deal. So, I'm going to close that because now we're going to be working with this menu right here, and we need to make some um, changes to it. So if I was to actually open up my CSS file now, and I'm clicking on this uh, the, the box for Word Home, it's going to show me that you know for this current selection, it's actually a spry menu, um, the background image and so forth, the colors the background colors, and so forth and so on. Now, if I click on background color, which it's showing me blue and white. Now, go back to the website. We did see our rollover colors were blue. Now, you can see when we roll over this, it changes our text to white. So obviously, in Dreamweaver, obviously, if we change this color, this is going to change our hover rollover color and our text color. But what about our main area here? What we want to do is we want to actually change the background colors of the actual uh, buttons here. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's pretty, um, it's kind of like the same way we worked before with our CSS code. So what we need to do is we need to remember that three, it's uh, well, what I did was, is what I wanted to do just now was go through the CSS code real quick to see if I found the button CSS code. But the Spry menu CSS, actually, the file itself, let me close this, was moved over into the site folder. Now, if you wanted to open that to make edits, you just cl click open and it will open. And this is where we will make edits to our Spry menu uh, in our uh, web page. So let's see. Close this back out. Open up our CSS panel. Our menu bar for Internet Explorer. These are, it's a hack for Internet Explorer. But anyway, let's move up. And this is our, our vertical bar. These are our main properties that we want our font size to be 100%. I don't want my font size to be 100%. I want my font size to be 70%. Let's watch and see what happens. I have to save whatever changes I make to the CSS file before I can see the changes in my actual index page. So I'm going to hit file to preview it in Firefox. Now you see it actually changed it. Now I'm not going to see those changes actually in the Dreamweaver itself, but the CSS code on the page load is going to show me those changes. Now this is very helpful when you don't want the, these boxes to cover your main text. Um, this is where you play around with the different um, settings for your font size, which this was 70%. I think I could actually bring this up to 80% and uh, I have to save it. And then I could reload this page again to test and see it at 80, which I think fits a little bit better. It actually comes right to the side of the text. There's more we, can, we, we, we need to do here, which would make this a little bit nicer. So going back to the CSS code, we're going to scroll down until we find the other font size. Hold on which is right here, font size. We really should change the font size when um, we do the crossovers, because watch. The graphics, web design, it all seems to be following the same cue, but you learn to see what sizes, what colors you like, so forth. And Now, the width of the actual box, here we go. The width, is, they're saying that it, it's 